Good morning, this is Luba. Um, it's morning in San Francisco. I just climbed the big hills, need some workout for, um, to make myself strong for the birth. And today I am visiting uh, my midwife, one of the appointments, and I'm going to show it to you how it's happening. This is my midwife, Maria. And, <laughs> okay. <laughs> And we have maybe one of our last appointments uh, because yeah, birth is coming. Yeah. yeah. Right, let's do your blood pressure. Let's sit up first. So you're wearing that. Have you been doing some steps? How many yes. steps have you been getting? Um, ten thousand every day. This is the goal. I don't make it always. Uh -huh. About how many are you getting? Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Thousand. Oh, uh, yeah. Around like sometimes six, sometimes ten. <laughs> the couple of days I did 15 songs. Oh, good. Yes. All right. Yeah, try to do 10. Yeah. All right, let's see what you're... Okay, perfect. Perfect blood pressure. So tell me about your baby. Baby is kicking like crazy. Yeah? Yeah. That's beautiful. Very actively. Uh-huh. Uh, and on this side all the time here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the bulk of the, the baby's back is along here. So that makes sense that the legs are over here, that little kicking is there. The head is in a good position. That's perfect. Yes, it is perfect. So we're gonna measure the top of your uterus and that should match your weeks. Mm -hmm. Right, so you are 39 weeks and you're measuring 39 centimeters, so you are perfect. Okay, so baby's side is good. The baby, yeah, the baby's good. But can you, like, can you tell approximately what is the weight for now? Um, let's see, so that's a good question. It's called estimated fetal weight, mm -hmm. and it's known as the least accurate piece of information. Okay. Because basically I'm just guessing, right? Mm -hmm. But I think that when you have your baby, your baby will be high seven pounds or, or low eight pounds. So anywhere from seven twelve to like eight four. That's what I'm guessing. Okay. Not nine years. No, a nine pound baby. Not a nine pound baby. So let's listen to the baby's heartbeat. Sounds beautiful. Sounds perfect. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> oh, working so hard. Uh -huh. That little heart. <laughs> All right. So show everybody how you're supposed to get up. Okay. So um, I should not uh, use my um, uh, belly muscle. So I go like this. And then I use my hand to get up. So Maria yeah. is the person whom I the will person. be calling when I when I get yeah. in the labor. Yes. Uh -huh. I will be calling Maria, and she will come and make like help all these miracles happen. Uh -huh. Maria, you have been doing it for thirty years. Yes. How many babies uh -huh. like you um, helped to? So be I've been to about 1,360, like five, I would say 65 births. Oh my so. God, oh my God. <laughs> so. What like what, um, what keeps you moving? What keeps you stay in this uh -huh. area? How you didn't get bored uh -huh. uh, and you didn't change like what you do? So what inspires you? Well, some, for, whatever reason, you know, I feel passionate about birth because I see it as a way that that women can be empowered. And and men too, the families can be empowered. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's a really, it is a miracle. It's a, it's, you know, it, there's so many things about it that I really love. You know, my, um, my spirituality and my life, my own spirituality, is because I feel like I see miracles all the time. Mm -hmm. I see miracles like every day, you know, and that's oh like God. an amazing thing. It's very like spiritual kind of life. Oh. Um, but I also see a woman's journey, you know, kind of 
from the beginning when you were so you know like little so small so yeah small, and <laughs> what they go through through their pregnancy and how they kind of build their confidence and get ready for the birth and then they go through this experience it's very intense and you know vulnerable like your just heart is wide open you know mm. and and you know to see where you are like you have all the joy that you are expressing about how you want to birth like I don't think that you were saying those same things in the beginning oh no you, I was so you, scared at the yeah, beginning you learned about it like you learned about it and you you read stuff and talked to people and w w however you got exposed to birth mm -hmm. right you developed your own vision your own vision for yourself mm -hmm. you know and you helped me with that. yeah yeah absolutely I see myself as a guide mm -hmm. I've just been to a ton of births so you know I kind of know, <laughs> know lots of things about it you know um, but you bring especially in a home birth like home birth is you it's your it's your home it's your nest so you get to be you know in your own space like say if you want certain music or if you want candles like they don't even allow candles at the hospital right? yeah or water you know, birth or water birth or something yeah. like that you get to it's it's birth becomes this self-expression mm -hmm. um, oh, and yes. your, of your values and of your spirituality and of your relationship mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. you want to you know take care of your own health how do you want to take care of your baby's health you know, it, it's a very, um, like, complex mm -hmm. way of just kind of expressing yourself. Yeah.